Hello everyone, I'm Jerry Mitchellark, and what I'm going to show you right now is what I do with my 940 shotgun when I return from the range. I shoot it periodically, so this is not a deep clean. This is just a maintenance schedule cleaning that I do when I take it out. One thing about Louisiana, it's always extremely damp, so I want to prevent rust in the bore in the chamber as paramount on my shotgun. So, give you an idea on what I do. I'm using Hoppy products. They've been a sponsor of mine for a number of years now. So give you an idea of what I do and how to do it quickly and with the least amount of effort. So that's very mandatory. So what I'm going to start with is I want to make sure that the chamber and the barrel does not rust. And I've come to really like their Gun Medic. It's uh, probably my go-to product on a lot of guns. So what I like to do is when I come back from the range, of course, uh, first thing you do, guys, you notice I had a chamber flag in. I'm going to check to make sure there's nothing in the magazine. It has a brightly colored follower, so I know instantly that the gun is empty. And also, the chamber that's what a chamber flag does, it fits in the chamber, so you can't have two, two things in one spot at one time. So, I love a chamber flag, guys. If you don't have a chamber flag, get you some, even if it's a tie strap. Anyway, here we go. We're going to start the procedure. I'm going to take a little bit of the Gun Medic Spray. They also have a CLP product that you can put on the gun, on the uh, boar snake. I just use the Gun Medic Spray. So what I'm going to do is flip it around a little bit, give it a little shot in the chamber, and down the bore. And that's about all I'm going to do there, all I need. I'm going to turn it around and drop the boar snake. The, the new series of boar snakes actually have a handle, so it's a little bit easier to pull through. So you just go ahead and you drop the weighted end through the bore like this. And I broke out a brand new one for the video, but mine looks pretty, pretty used. But I give you an idea of how to use it. Uh, all right, so we got the bore snake, the end here with the weight on it has exited the bore. So you just line it up and pull it through. You can use the handle. I just usually just wrap it like this. And that's usually enough cleaning there to get me to the next cycle. If you've shot it a lot, you might want to do it two or three times. So that's, that's the bore aspect of it. And another thing that's greatly overlooked on a shotgun, especially a semi-automatic that you shoot a lot, is the condition of the extractor. So I'm going to oil the extractor. And this is something I do every, every time I use it. Give it one or two drops of oil. That little spring and plunger really takes a beating. So that's treated. And the other thing I see a lot of guys pay no attention to, especially duck hunters, they usually use one choke and they leave it in there forever. I'm going to always put a little bit of oil on the choke here. So we're going to pull the choke out. We pretty much constantly change in chokes. At a match you might find yourself once or twice during the competition changing the choke. Put a little oil on it, put it back. That way when you go to pull it out it will it will come out so you always want to keep your choke well lubricated so it doesn't stick in the bore I've seen a lot of guns run that way so we've got the choke done we've got the extractor the only thing else I'm gonna do with this shotgun is put a little lubricant on the raceways of the boat and I'm just gonna tilt the receiver there and drop a couple of drops of oil on each side of the receiver where the boat reciprocates one two and that's about it and Put one drop in the bolt itself where the locking lugs are. Maybe one or two. We're going to splurge. We're going to give it two. So, with that all completed, I'm going to take a little bit of that gun medic again. Really liking this stuff. Put a little bit on a rag or cloth and wipe the uh, exposed metal surfaces. And with that, it's going to have a high evaporation rate, but it leaves behind a real high quality lubricant rust preventative. And one thing about Louisiana, again guys, a lot of humidity. So that's what I do to keep my 940 running in between cycles and uh, shooting cycles. And there you have it guys. Get some.